Welcome back to our community. Susie Thomas with Janet Whitlatch from the Canton Christian Home. Uh, Janet, we have talking about uh, how soon is too soon and jokingly, only half jokingly saying, this sounds like something I want to do soon because it really is awesome sounding. Um, might be a little too soon yet. But then we have the other person on the other side of the scale who I will throw my mother-in-law out there, 95 years old, lives alone, does not want to move into a community like this. Um, what, what would you say to that person who really insists that they want to be in their own house long before it's really practical for them to be? What I often hear, I, I do hear that from people. Um, typically, my first contact with a uh, with, uh, a prospective resident is through their children. Um, they might be noticing things that maybe mom or dad aren't quite a, as aware of that might be going on. And they'll come to me and they'll ask that question. And um, I, th I think it's important just to try to have that person come in for a visit because people are so pleasantly surprised when they come in and see. And they can talk to other residents. And we're not there to pressure or push them into doing anything. It's a big decision, and we know that. But when you start to look at what is offered, um, it's, it's really very cost effective. The economics of it do work out for people. When you start to look at all the upkeep of your home and paying to have things done for you, um, replacement of a hot water heater, a sump pump stove, getting a new roof, all those kinds of things, it all works out. Mm -hmm. And so I think if we can just get somebody, just come in and take a look around. No pressure, we'll, we'll talk through things and um, give them an idea of what we have to offer. And so often, I might have somebody who comes in the office and to begin with they're like, I'm not going to do this. And then by the end of the time when they've really had a chance to see for themselves, they're like, I mm -hmm. want to do this. Mm -hmm. Let's get an application. Let's get on the list. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, and the people themselves, it's just, um, it's so wonderful. And, and I want to get into talking about some of the people that you have gotten to work with and, and get to know on a daily, daily basis. But give us, if you will, a little tour. Give us a tour on the air uh, to cover some of these refurbishments and just the amazing. Um, it's been gone through a huge change in the last couple of years. And uh, you're tell right. Us a it is a it is that. a truly a transformation um, with the new additions. And um, I mean, there's a new sign out at the street. There's new covered drop off areas. There is, really isn't any area of the building that hasn't been refurbished, renovated, expanded, that sort of thing. We have a new, as you walk in the front doors, there's a new welcome area, the beautiful reception area, gift shop there, um, seating areas, gathering rooms for family. You walk down the hall and you come to the cafe, which we mentioned earlier, the chapel, there's a beautiful living room area. We have dining room, uh, formal dining room in that area, and two areas where families can have get-togethers or outside organizations could come in and, and do a meeting or a program. Um, but birthday parties, uh, anniversary parties, we do baby showers, wedding showers, because that's where grandma and grandpa live. Mm -hmm. And how convenient. We have these beautiful gathering rooms for families. Family can bring in the food or we can provide the food. And then as you move on through the building on the first floor, there's a beautiful new uh, renovated uh, beauty shop. We have a media room with computers and library books, arts and crafts room, exercise room, and more gathering rooms. The second floor is nursing and assisted living, and it's the final phase of the uh, refer refurbishments. And we have gone from a medical model to a more neighborhood-like setting. So there's four kitchens with their own dining rooms, and people can order what they want. If they want a bacon cheeseburger and french fries, we'll make it for them. <laughs> um, we really emphasize our food. I think that's one of the things that makes us unique is the awesome variety and quality of the food that we offer. I have to offer. stop you right there. I just wrote food and circled <laughs> it because I did not want to not talk about the amazing food. Now go ahead. <laughs> we are known for that. We make all of our desserts from scratch. Um, the food quality is outstanding, and the residents enjoy that. Um, it's so nice to be able to sit down and, and have a great meal. Uh, and if you don't like what's on the menu, you tell us what you want, and if we have it in the house, we're going to make it for you. That's been our philosophy. We, again, we want to fit what the resident wants rather than them fitting what we offer. So back to the, the nursing care area. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, 
we have done a lot to enhance that area. It's uh, all new lighting, new wall treatments, new carpet, um, more private rooms and less semi-private rooms. And then we do have that rehab component up there now where we can do the short-term rehab. So if somebody you know, is coming out of the hospital this week and their family, you know, a, a resident, a prospective resident is coming out of the hospital, family could call Canton Christian Home and, and then they may be able to come in and have their rehab right there and then go back home. Um, and the third and fourth floor, which is assisted living and independent living, that's all been redone, hallways redone, wow. lighting, gathering areas. Um, it's a beautiful place. Mm. Just, just almost like just a nice apartment. It is. With mm-hmm. all the comforts of, oh, I don't have to cook. I can just run downstairs and have mm-hmm. a fabulous meal. Where do you get your chefs? <laughs> they are incredible. We have, we have some great chefs. Yeah, we do. Um, you know, different word of mouth and different things like that. We, um, we're very blessed that way. It, it, it really, truly is amazing. Um, all right. Well, I love the fact uh, that you will not make someone leave if they run out of money. And that is a huge concern for people. We are a healthy generation. And I think folks wonder, wow, how do I not run out of money before I, my, the end of my days? How mm-hmm. do I outlast it? And um, you have ways of being able to say, once you move in, you are not going to be asked to leave in case the funding, uh, your own personal finances uh, are dry up for one reason or the other. You just might outlive them. How do you do that? That is, a, that is what we are. We are a, a faith-based mission. And part of that mission is that um, when somebody comes to Canton Christian Home, then we take care of them for the rest of their lives. And in the 40 years that we've been um, uh, up, up and running and operating, no one has ever had to leave because they ran out of money. And that is truly a unique thing that That's we amazing. have at Canton Christian Home. So we are very active fundraisers. We work very hard to raise that money. And so, um, you know, we step in and help people out uh, in independent living and residential with services if they've run out of money. People do need to disclose their finances to mm-hmm. us up front, but, mm-hmm. you know. Yes. And so let's talk about these fundraisers. Mm-hmm. Oh, we've got all You've got some coming up, yes, right? Because we, we want to get behind this and back it and help right. you in this amazing oh, ministry you've be, got. That would be great. We have um, one of the big things coming up this summer will be August 12th. It is a Johnny Cash tribute artist. His name is Terry Lee Goffey coming in, and he's outstanding. He's going to be performing at the Malone University Johnson Center again on August 12th from 6.30 to 8 p.m. Tickets are $25 and veterans ticket price is $10. Anyone interested in getting those tickets um, can contact Canton Christian Home at 330-456-0004 and ask for Lori Noby or um, Larry Burgett. Okay. Do you have a website? We do. It's www.cantonchristianhome.org, and it's just been re- uh, recently completely redone. So. so you are rebranding everything, the building itself, your facilities, and then also your on-air presence is quite amazing, uh, your online presence, rather. Um, okay, and we'll give that number and, and website again before we're over, but you have got a number of events coming up and so many things that you do for the residents and for families that want to do something fun with their family member or friend resident. We have something called Bowling for Benevolence, which again is a fundraiser for that benevolent program, which we use when we're able to step in and help someone out. And that's April 23rd, 7 7 p.m. at the Hall of Fame Lanes. That's located at 5155 West Tusk Street. The cost is $35 for a couple, 18 for individuals. And you can contact Lori Noby uh, for information on that. Um, it includes shoes, free food and drinks, uh, that's pop and water, it's, there's a 50-50 raffle, there's door prizes, so that's a fundraiser coming up. Then one of our big fundraisers will also be our annual golf scramble. That's July 11th at 8.30 a.m. at Prestwick Country Club. That's located at 2220 Raber Road in Uniontown. Um, and foursomes or individual golfers, sponsors are needed for that. And you can contact Larry Burgett at 330-430-5119 for information about our golf outing. It includes cart, uh, dinner at the clubhouse, $40 gift card for the Prestwick Pro Shop, Golf Digest subscription, and a great day 
uh, with fellow Christians and people who are interested in the um, the uh, promoting what we offer at Canton Christian Home and are very supportive of us, and we truly appreciate all they do. Uh, then there'll be a chicken barbecue August 13th, the day after the Johnny Cash Tribute Concert. And that's a wonderful evening where from 4 to 6.30 we have a chicken barbecue, a big tent out back, um, and all kinds of great food and things going on for the public at that as well. That's always so much fun, too. Another wonderful celebration. Janet, in a nutshell, why would someone choose Canton Christian Home? What makes it so unique? I think most importantly, it's the fact that we're faith-based and um, that we do try to um, walk the talk, that we demonstrate Christ's love in all that we do and say to our residents and with each other. Um, There's a sweet spirit there, and Mm -hmm. I think you feel it when you come in. There's a a feeling of family, a feeling of... um, of unity there and I think that's what makes us unique I hear it over and over from people it feels different there there's something special about what we have and that's hard to put your finger on Mm -hmm. but it really is there well I can say this um, somehow your staff from the nursing staff everyone makes you feel like your loved one is the only person that they are taking care of, which is amazing. <laughs> I knew I'd be reaching for Kleenex before this would be over. But that is an amazing, amazing thing to be able to say. Mm-hmm. You feel that you're the only people in the building that they are coming to and helping. It's just remarkable. We and have a tremendous staff there. And uh, um, you know, the focus is put on care because we're not for profit. The focus is put on care and the fact that we are a Christ led community. Mm-hmm. We, that's what we try so hard to be. And I think that I think that comes through. Not just paid staff, but volunteers as well. What volunteer opportunities do you have available? We have wonderful volunteers at Canton Christian Home. We do have an auxiliary that kind of leads some of these upcoming activities and fundraisers that we have. But we have all kinds of things going on, both for residents and people from the community, to participate in giving back. We all need a sense of purpose, a sense that we're doing something for someone else. And that's what we're truly called to be Mm -hmm. if we're going to be servants of Christ. And... So people come in and maybe they read to a resident. They help transport people to the the beauty shop. They might take them outside on a beautiful day and make sure they feel the sunshine on their face. Mm -hmm. And uh, for those that are in nursing care. But um, people can work in our our gift shop. They can um, do all kinds of things that um, they can give back and Mm -hmm. and have a sense of purpose particularly if their family members live out of town. Janet Whitledge, thank you so much for being here. Uh, You want to call 330-456-0004 for all the information that we've been talking about or go to cantonchristianhome.org. Janet, thank you again for joining us today. Thank you for having me as your guest. And thank you for joining us on Our Community.